What's up, Exotics fam? Welcome to our channel. My name is Jeff. And my name is Maddox. And you're watching Exotic Idiotics. time here welcome and thank you for checking this out if you like content like this centered around reptiles amphibians and invertebrates make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications we upload videos every Tuesday and Saturday and if you've been here before thanks for coming back on a scale of here to here our idiotic tendencies have been up to like somewhere around that point I don't even know if you saw that so we're glad you guys are sticking around with us and we're very thankful for our community so, as always, there will be a link to our Discord down below, so come hang out, get the chance to meet us and other community members. Alright, before we go any further, we got a couple new t-shirt designs up on our merch store. We're going to leave a link down to the merch store in the description. And make sure to use code FALL10, score yourself 10% off for back to school. And we've got a shout out today to our very first channel patron. Thank you to the Reptileverse for being our first patron. He's got his own channel. He's all about education, so make sure to go check him out and share the love. Today, we're gonna get a little bit sciency. We've been watching some videos and doing some research on tarantulas and how they're affected by music. And we know that tarantulas react to different vibrations in their surroundings. They don't find their prey based on eyesight, but rather feeling vibrations on the ground from their prey items. So what are we going to do today? Of course, we're going to try and take that away from them and just see how they react. So yes, we're going to take that one step further and not only are we going to see how they react to music, but we're going to see if the vibrations from music played really close to their enclosures actually affects their ability to find food. So stick around and let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. Now. We're not going to do this experiment on all of our spiders today. I don't want to stress out our really small spiderlings. So we've decided to pick some of our best eaters, you know, those ones that are really aggressive and never miss a meal. And that's how we're going to get it going. So the way we're going to set this up is over here, we've got a mini jam box speaker. We're just going to set it up blasting directly towards the spider and we're just gonna play music with heavy bass to get that really good vibration sound and see if these guys can still hunt down a cricket. So up first, we've got our Pamphobedia species nigger color. This is one of my favorite spiders. He's a very aggressive eater. So we're gonna start playing some music and see what he does. longer than usual. Typically when you feed him on initial impact, as soon as that cricket hits the ground, he's already going that direction. So with him, it looks like he needed to be in about a two to three inch radius before he really felt those vibrations. Next up, we've got our Tilitacaudal albopilosum, curly haired tarantula. This guy, even in pre molt almost never misses a meal. He's not necessarily the most aggressive eater as far as like his feeding response. He strikes a little bit slower and a little more ginger but he never misses a cricket. Okay, so he pretty much grabbed that immediately. Now, that might have been a little bit unfair because that cricket ended up almost on top of him. But so far, we're two for two. Both tranches have been able to eat as long as the cricket was really close. Let's move on to the next one and see if this still holds true. Up next, we've got our phone of Monty. Costa Rican Stripe Knee, and again, as everything else previous and prior to this, good eater, almost never misses.
you can see, without, or with the music playing, he was basically able to completely miss the cricket. The cricket, one, tarantula, zero. So the music does have an effect on them. And now, as you can see, without music playing, nothing gets past this guy. Next up, we've got our juvenile Theraphosa sturmi, the Goliath birdie in tarantula. This guy has been known to come from five, six inches away as soon as a cricket hits the enclosure and lunge at him and go in for a tackle. He's a super aggressive eater and he's a lot of fun. Let's see if he's still capable of making the same sort of takedowns with the music playing. So as you can see, that cricket went, pretty much did a full circle around the enclosure. And it, was, and it wasn't until it basically hit the very edge of the webbing on the ground and almost was touching the tarantula, did he actually realize it was there and he was able to strike and take it down. So far, I think it's pretty safe to say that the music does have an effect on them. Does it prevent their ability to eat? Not so far. However, it does make it seem like it is a lot harder for them to sense their prey. So finally, we have our Brachypelma homore, Mexican red knee. These things are also aggressive eaters and they never miss a meal. So let's see how the music affects him specifically. from the music he may be in a pre-molt he is decently fat and these guys he hasn't molted in a while so he may be in a pre-molt so we're gonna try and feed him without the music and see what happens we tried it did he get it no he's not hungry it was a defensive strike just kidding not a defensive strike Okay, so before we really get into our conclusions, we did want to talk a little bit about the different enclosures that we use for this. So the first one you saw with the Pamphobedius Negra color was what they call like a shoebox enclosure. So it's a thicker plastic and it's a pretty decent sized enclosure for him. The second one you saw was a Tarantula Cribs acrylic container. So since it's made out of acrylic, there were obviously more vibrations because the speaker was rattling up against the side of the cage. And the last one we did for the Hamore was much smaller, as you can see. And I also do want to make a note that even though we had the speaker on the same side of the enclosure for every single test we did, in this particular case, the spider was right next to the side, which probably made a difference. Also, since the enclosure was so much smaller, I think that the vibrations were probably a little bit stronger. Now, I do want to point out that we did have the same song playing at the exact same volume for every single test. But if we were to do it again, I think that we could move these spiders in the bigger cage into a smaller cage, and that's how you would really get a good result. Of course, we're not going to do that because that could be bad for a spider's health, stress them out. But if we are a professional science industry, probably what we do. Yeah, because, you know, science. Science rules. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to us. Much, much appreciation, blessings to all of you. Uh, man, this was this was kind of a new thing for us. We we had talked about doing a video like this for a while, as far as like using the music and testing to see how it affected their ability to eat, and we just finally kind of got around to it. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. I really didn't think the music was gonna have that much of an effect, but. I'm on break right now and I don't ever think about anything science related or educational when I'm on break. So my mom was kind of only like half awake, but the music definitely had an effect and there again were quite some aspects to look into it, but we can confirm. 
Yeah. Music has an effect on tarantulas' ability to hunt food. Yeah, absolutely. And then, again, like they eventually found their food, but it just wasn't the same. I know if you've been watching the channel for a while, you've seen some of these other feeding clips. And we've got some spiders. In fact, the Theraphosa Sturmy, when last time we fed him, I mean, he literally like jumped. Like free willy over the wall. Yeah, it was... What wall? I don't know, I thought there was a wall in the movie. <laughs> there was a wall in the movie, but there wasn't a wall in the enclosure. <laughs> you know what I meant. Oh my goodness. Okay. A little bit could dive into the pool to swim. Better example. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> make sure if you like this video to leave us a like. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and as we stated before, we're going to leave links down below to our Instagram, our merch store, and our Patreon. Shout out again to the Reptileverse for joining the uh, Patreon and becoming the first patron of our channel. Is it Patreon or Patron? Patreon is the channel, but if you join the Patreon, you are a patron. That's confusing. Okay, well, it's not that confusing. That's just how English works. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, thanks a lot, guys, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.